George Herbert Walker Bush. Well, the world is remembering former Bush. President George H.W. Bush this morning. The 41st president and World War II hero died last night, surrounded by family at the age of 94. His death comes just eight months after his beloved wife and former First Lady Barbara Bush died. Yeah, at 94, he lived longer than any other U.S. president. Our Pat Harvey has a look back at his life and his legacy. I, George Herbert Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. When George Herbert Walker Bush took the oath of office in 1989, he already had an impressive legacy. World War II hero, Texas oil man, director of the CIA, and vice president. Politics would dominate his life. Bush was born in 1924 in Milton, Massachusetts. On his 18th birthday, he enlisted in the Navy becoming the youngest fighter pilot in World War II. During an air raid in the Pacific, he was shot down, a rescue famously captured on film. I knew that if something didn't pick me up, I would be uh, uh, captured. Shortly after returning from the war, he married Barbara Pierce. They would have six children and 17 grandchildren. Wisest, smartest, most decent, uh, caring person I know. Bush studied at Yale University. He graduated Phi Beta Kappa in just two and a half years, but he left New England to make it on his own. He carved out his fortune in the wildcat oil fields of Texas. What a day. In the 60s, Bush turned to politics. He was elected to Congress in 1966 and became a power player in the Republican Party. Leaving the door open. In 1980, he ran unsuccessfully against Ronald Reagan for the GOP nomination, then agreed to be Reagan's running mate. He was Reagan's vice president for eight years before becoming the 41st president of the United States. I will faithfully execute the office of president of the United States. During his one term in the White House, Bush signed the treaty that ended the Cold War. He played a key role in the reunification of Germany. The following year, he took on Saddam Hussein for invading Kuwait, launching Operation Desert Storm, the first Gulf War. A new world order can emerge, a new era. Bush formed a coalition of 30 nations to liberate Kuwait in just six weeks but he was criticized for not removing Iraq's defiant leader. After the war, the economy slowed down. Read my lips. No new taxes. Bush was forced to break that campaign promise and raised taxes. As the economy continued to sink, so did his approval ratings. And in 1992, he lost the election to Bill Clinton. In later years, the former rivals raised millions for victims of the tsunami in Southeast Asia and Hurricane Katrina. Bush remained active during retirement. He saw his oldest son become president, and another son, Jeb, serve as Florida's governor. He even went skydiving to celebrate his 80th, 85th, and 90th birthdays. Can't play golf anymore, but I still can jump out of a plane. But in his final years, Bush's health deteriorated and he developed a form of Parkinson's that made it difficult to walk. He used a wheelchair during a 2011 visit to the White House when President Obama awarded him with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Bush was at his wife's side holding her hand when she passed at their Houston home. He called her the most beloved woman in the world. His devotion to her to the end, never failing. And Bush 43, George W. Bush released this statement about his father, Bush 41. Jeb, Neil, Marvin, Doro, and I are saddened to announce that after 94 remarkable years, our dear dad has died. George H.W. Bush was a man of the highest character and the best dad a son or daughter could ask for. The entire Bush family is deeply grateful for 41's life and love, for the compassion of those who have cared and pray for dad and for the condolences of our friends and fellow citizens. President Trump also released a statement saying in part, with sound judgment, common sense, and unflappable leadership, President Bush guided our nation and the world to a peaceful and victorious conclusion of the Cold War. As president, he set the stage for the decades of prosperity that have followed.